We all know the benefits of drinking water and keeping the body hydrated. Drinking alkaline water helps improve the blood's viscosity, which in turn helps the blood flow more efficiently through the body. DK Spring Water is alkaline water. DK Spring Water, bottled at the head of the springs in pristine Buff Bay, Portland. Available in 280 milliliters, 500 milliliters, 1.5 liter and 5 gallon bottles. Call 627-9114 to order yours today. DK Spring Water. Taste it. Know it. Love it. Good morning. Welcome to the Open Gate Show for Sunday, April 9th, part of the Easter Carnival. Nine races will be on. The filly from the Ian Passard barn, do delicious, remains unbeaten. I love how she won. She was there with the, with the, with the contested speed and pulled away to show her versatility. Should improve and be a force to reckon, reckon with later on in the classics. So yet another Jamaican jockey is in Canada. I'm talking about female rider, Samantha Fletcher. She'll be riding in Canada when her suspension ends. The promoting company, Supreme Ventures Racing Entertainment Limited, should visit Panama, which has the top jockey school in the world and has produced the best jockeys from Lafayette Pinkai, etc. We need a better jockey colony. It is waning and three jockeys can't ride over horses. We need professionalism in the jockey's field. In the morning, you can hardly get anyone to work your horse. As by 7, 7.30, they're all gone. And the up and coming riders who have much experience, we have to be relied on. Let's hope something can be done so trainers can make it enticing for our jockeys, well, I should say the, the good riders, to stay a bit more in the morning. The Open Gate Show, you listen, you hear, you learn, you win. I'm sure that the card yesterday, Saturday, April, 7, April 8, for all those who have listened, should, have, should, should be winners. Anyway, let's get to tomorrow's card, which starts approximately 12.15 p.m. First race, 1,400 meters or seven furlongs, nine declared. It's a beta condition race for native bread foils and up. Number one, Sneaky Fox. Sneaky Joe, rather. Finally come to hand. And with, well, with better luck, would have gone much closer and last. That's on the 25th of March, going six furlongs, tumbled badly out the gate and was way behind and ended up third, four and three quarter lengths to Blue Sky and Rosa the, the Warrior. Number five, King Air, need to hold his gallop, of which Trevor Simpson will try to ensure that. Let's see, as King Air should be on the lead. Number six, Premier Identity freshened and had enough time to reform and worked okay for this race. Monday the 3rd of April, Gallop of the Gate, first 4 and 49, and uh, pulling up in 103 and 4 fifth. I'm expecting a good display later on today. Number seven, Blue's Persuasion, can be bound. Not being himself, sorry, not being herself, I should say, in the last two starts, but could return and, you know, run very good. Number eight, another brother, have been penciled for this, but pencils, their points at times are so fragile, they break. <laughs> anyway. Number six, Premier Identity. Number five, King Air. Number one, Sneaky Joe. Number seven, Blue Persuasion. Dangerous Horse. 
number eight, another champion. Second race goes a mile or 1600 meters, seven declared it or cheers it up. It's a claiming race, 800 to a billion dollars. Number one, Daddy Jones, taken to task by his trainer, Stephen Todd, since the last race where he claimed his horse. That's the 18th of February. Claimed his horse for a million dollars. Uh, Daddy Jones went pole to pole in a fighting finish, finish ahead, short head, in front of Secret Identity and Shaboom two and a half lengths uh, back in third. Shaboom is also here in this race. Daddy Jones should be a factor in this. Matrice Storm ran, well, it's been a while he ran well, but he's working okay and continuously and can compete for the top three slot. Number four, Minded Cat, claim of that facile win against Easier. Back against his normal competitors and could match up to these and get into the top three. Number five, Shibum, beaten twice by number one, Daddy Jones, both over seven and a half furlong. Was closing, will again be closing, and the, the pace could come back a bit and make Shibum a dangerous contender. Number six, Iron Eye Lynx, could figure in the low order of on the board. So, number seven, Sir John, can win? Mm, uh, maybe, but I think that he will be on the board, but to win, I'm staying away. Number one, Daddy Jones. Number three, Storm. Number four, Minded Cat. Number seven, Sir John. Number five, Shaboom. Third race goes five rounds round or a thousand meters round. Six declared. So it's strictly allowing four. Condition race. And then it's four data bread, four and up was only one twice. And imported four and up was only one once. Number one, Rambling Rose, has speed and can go all the way. Number two, Phoenix Risen, another with speed. Uh, was a late on starter for his intended debut uh, in 2023. On the 2nd of January, it took a while to get back. Seems to prefer the straight, but his trainer, Ryan Darby, at times comes up with some magical uh, display with his, with his, with his, Horses. Number three, a gift from Ben, getting getting back a chance to do better for a new trainer, especially now Anthony Thomas has remained. Uh, the blink of it off, and I think a gift from Ben should run a much improved race. Number five, legal bomb, run even and last to be fourth. Number six, not a lady, very light. Number three for me, a gift from Ben, from number one, Rambling Rose. Number, number, what is it? Number five, Eagle Bomb, or number six, not a lady, for the minor placings. Although, number six, not a lady, could upset. Four trays, five for straight, or a thousand meters straight, seven declared. So choose an up optional claiming for them fifty to five hundred and fifty thousand. And six year old up who has only won three races, as well as imported six year old up who has only won twice. Number one action run could find a low exotic spot. Number three sudden flight, last three starts. Uh, didn't show much speed against the likes of uh, of horses that are not in his stead. Um, fits well with these though, especially over this course, and has a good chance. Only Stephen Todd has a lot of horses running, and um, it's good to see this young man, you know, bolstering the, the race cars at times and doing well. And before these choice makes his seasonal debut, coming off a sojourn, had a good form cycle last season. Number five, Quiet Ball, Speedy Sword, who comes down to this claiming level, if he reports well, should be a factor.
number six, John P. Speedy Sort, who was claimed last out, looking a bit better of late and could surprise. Number seven, Milkman, should ever say. Any of these can win. Number six, John P. Number seven, Milkman. Number three, Sudden Flight. Number four, these choice. Number five, Quiet Boss. The open, show go, open gate show goes for a break and we'll be back soon. We all know the benefits of drinking water and keeping the body hydrated. Drinking alkaline water helps improve the blood's viscosity, which in turn helps the blood flow more efficiently through the body. DK Spring Water is alkaline water. DK Spring Water, bottled at the head of the springs in pristine Buff Bay, Portland. Available in 280 milliliters, 500 milliliters, 1.5 liter and 5 gallon bottles. Call 627-9114 to order yours today. DK K Spring Water. Taste it. Know it. Love it. Welcome back. Race 5 for Chosen Up. Optional claiming 225000 With native but 6 year olds and up was only one twice. An imported 6 year olds and up was only one once. Number 1. Star Boy Flyer. Goes well. This is the five for three race, right? Incidentally, and nine declared number one star boy flyer makes his 2023 debut against uh, a mostly weak set here. Uh, why it took so long to race, I don't know, but star boy flyer maybe program for this, seeing that it's a five from straight race which he adores. Number four, Stanislaus had to be the one has to be the one as his last run was very good finishing a neck behind the out of class KD rocket over this very route in the six ball two zero here of a sudden his fitness is suspected otherwise he has to say in the seven column in ten off color but could earn a low exotic spot seeing that he likes the straight and he's coming down in claim Number four, Stanislaw. Number seven, Colobin Tan. Number six, Baltusro. Number one, Starboy Flyer. Number three, Junior Jones. Race six goes six furlongs for 1200 meters. Mini special weight race for Nidipa Trills. Ten declared. Number one, Easy Peasy. Getting first time, race six, after staying on. Main classic bound. Patrick and Train. Ability. That was his second career run, and she he should improve on that. Number two, Superior, a debutant born the 27th of March, will be called by Soul Warrior out of Astrid by traditional Ian Roberts, own train and bred this one. Paul Walker, the groom, Catherine Bailey, with right. Superior looks to have looks one to, to have use, but we'll need this race to learn more number three mr pete his two current starts so far were pleasing both out the straight he, he, uh, he's going on the curve now and only needs to improve a bit to handle these number four roaring tender may use his experience and get a low exotic spot number five slam dunk looking a bit improved and should be in the top mix Number six, Kindred Spirit, has been looking up a bit since last race. Number seven, Jack Daniel, been around for a while and passed some tiring horses. And that debut run on the 11th of March, won five rounds round and, and was fifth, eight and three quarter lengths behind the winner. Um, However, though, this horse seems to be training for a distance of ground because it's mainly pace work that he's in getting, not, not, no speed work at all. Number eight for the normal run, Fussy, fussy Sort, who needs to settle down before I can, before this horse can draw my fancy. Number nine, California Gold. Gold can be found, but it's not easy. But one day, if you keep on, you'll find. Number ten, Cosmic Force should be more. Uh, 
it should be more improved for this. But um, I have to look in. Number one, though, easy peasy. From number three, Mr. Pete. Number five, Slam Dunk. Number ten, called McForce. Number six, King Dread Spirit. Seven trays, six declared. Eight hundred and twenty meters or nine hundred and twenty-five yards. It's the restricted on five race. Eligible are uh, made about four and up who was only one once and imported four and up who remains a maiden. Number one, Tigger Express, one of two here for trainer Anthony Dixon. Coming off a good effort the last time. Well, the last twice he ran uh, were good efforts. And um, had speed and is, is bred to get the trip and could control the pace to his advantage. Number two, AK Storm, the other Anthony Dixon train horse. Racing a plenty and is nicely in at the scales. Going beyond a mile could be his issue. Number four, Shorty, will be a late on starter. Number five, Princess Sylvia, another who is bred to go long, has scope to improve and will have to do just that to win. I'm selecting number five, Princess Sylvia, just for number one, Tigre Express. Number two, AKA Storm. It's an ultimate race, race eight. It's the greatest stake race for native bred children up. Colton and Geldens, these horses are, well, are classic hopefuls. 10 declared for the Prince Consort Stakes. 7 for under 400 meters they go. Number 1 Mojito, leading classic contender who, even though looking like a filly, he's a heck of a runner, as he bettered easily all the top three old aspirants in the past. Hard to, to go against he. Number 3 Laurel Action, interesting cold. He has to improve, and if he does, should do okay. To get a very low exotic slot. Number five, Secret Admiral ran a clinker after that good win on debut. The 18th of March, seven and a half furlongs, uh, fairly supported at five to one, finished fifth, 22 and a quarter length to Atlantic Convoy, a nominal who is here once again an inspired force. Has been fitted with a cigarette and, and did he excel on the exercise track. Working very well with it, could get a high placing on the board. And the six ruler boss consists of thought who will be in the pace from early. And it's interesting how he will run, seeing that he worked very well for this. Number eight, El Fortunado looks a good sort. And I, I like how he won the last time, pulling away. I'm expecting a huge display as he has much, much scope for improvement. Number 9 Anomalous, stablemate of Alfonso has done well in, 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 all, in, in his career so far and has improved from that last run where he could have needed that race. He was surely, I would say, for a top four spot. Number 1, Mojito. Number 8, El Fortunado. Number 9 Anomalous. Number 6. Rudy Boss, number five, Secret Admiral. Race nine, five from straight or thousand meters straight, 13 declared for native bird five and up, who hasn't won two, three races and imported five and up was what won once. Number one, Rods the Indian, has a lot to find from this inner post, but could run on and get a spot on the board. Number two, No Surrender, should be fitting now. And could have a say, but not to win, in my opinion. Number three, Queen of Dahl, may figure in the lowest exotic spot. Number four, traditional boy, can't see why he won't get in the get on the board this time. Number seven, Queen Zan, very speedy sort and should factor somewhere in the lower order. Number eight, Morse code. Another who could get into your exotics at good odds. Number 12, Silver Fox, likely to be more focused than that last race on the 25th of March, where he ran on to be second, six, six and three quarter length to the out of class, joyful. Number 13, Catabuck.
if Fick should fight for the top three slots. Category for me, number 13. From number 12, Silver Fox. Number 7, Queen Zan. Number 1, Rod the Indian. Number 4, Traditional Boy. Reflect on bettering yourself. This is the time of year when we give respect to the crucifixion of our Savior. We all do wrong, and wrong can be forgiven. But when you cross over to doing evil, then you are beyond recovery. Take care, good luck, and remain focused and righteous.